Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own campsite. Now this is a pretty uh, simple tutorial, there's not many items that you really need to do this just because uh, campgrounds are usually surrounded by nature. So pretty much uh, what I'm going to be focusing on is this main tent type of campground. Uh, you can also create campgrounds, sort of semi-campgrounds with lodges it's more of a resort but I'll show you how to lay those out as well so um, if you search up tent there's five types there's uh, the two military types and there's this medic type you're probably not going to need the medic type you can use the military ones if you want to it just depends on your preference how you want to detail it they do look a little more official and a little more hardcore so if you don't want to associate them with military sort of stuff you really don't have to. So most campgrounds that you see inside of unturned maps are pretty much like the ones on Washington or PEI. Generally they're in a pretty scenic location. Obviously I have not created that here and I'm not going to. That's up to you guys to decide what you want the background and location to be like. But uh, besides that they're usually sort of circular or they're sort of centered into a central location. So pretty much how you want to start this is you pretty much want to decide what area you want to make this in and then decide how many tents do you want to have, uh, what what type of layout you want to be. I'm going to stick with the, the sort of circular layout and I'm going to sort of randomize it a bit so that they're not uh, spaced evenly. But I'm just sort of going to copy paste. Um, sadly there is not a blue type of tent that would be kinda nice just to add a little more variety there's only these green and red ones so I'm gonna be using all of these those four and I'm just gonna raise them up a little bit because it bothers me that they're in the ground and that should have fixed it okay so now that we've got our general campsite layout this is pretty small but generally campsites aren't very huge so what you can do is um, obviously detailing inside you pretty much don't need anything Often when you see Nelson making these maps, there's nothing inside them, just a couple item drops, maybe a zombie spawn or something like that. But usually more, there's more happening outside. So here are the most, type, most common types of objects you see in these areas. You've got bench wood number two. This is definitely a staple. You see this pretty much in every campsite. Um, the best way to line these up is pretty much just put it in some sort of central location, uh, randomize it a bit, have a couple of them, obviously you can have them turned at different angles however you want uh, also we've got table wood number one and table wood number two these can also be a substitute for those or in addition to those so I'm gonna put table number one down over here sort of as an eating area off to the side and because it is an eating area and there are a decent amount of people here I'm gonna put one or two of those and I'm obviously going to angle those a little bit to make them look a bit more natural. Now, of course, going with the tables, I've got chair wood number one and chair wood number two. Uh, pretty much just choose one of those and put those around the table. Obviously, how you want to detail this is up to you. I generally like the uneven, sort of randomized look. So it seems like it's a little more natural. So pretty much detail those however much you want. And so we've got a small eating area over there. I also have another eating area over here. Another staple that you usually find in the campgrounds is barbecue number one. But barbecue number two could also be used. Uh, barbecue number two is a little more fancy, more of a backyard item, but you could definitely use it inside a campground. So I'm going to place barbecue number one around here. I'm going to place it near the eating area because that sort of makes sense. Uh, they're going to want to cook the food pretty close and you know so they don't have to carry it as far and that's pretty much all we need truthfully it's that simple uh, there's not much else to it um, one other thing we can add uh, it's gonna be in the environments and roads usually you have a trail leading up to your campsite so pretty much if you guys are not familiar with how to use these roads it's very very simple you click on the road type you want you place down these nodes one after the other if you unselect there and you know there's nothing selected on this piece of road you'll start a new one also you can control delete to get rid of all of the road but if you want to continue off click on the last uh, piece you you made and you know just keep building this road outwards and this will conform to the landscape so in terms of these knob dials uh, pretty much the way you want to manipulate those is press E to relocate them and that pretty much allows you to smooth out the road 
about as much as you want. Uh, it's a very nice tool added pretty recently. So that's pretty nice. And then once you're done making your road, just press bake and it will bake it. Now if you guys want to hide your road because you don't want to see the nodes and stuff, you can press F1 and it'll hide the nodes, but it'll leave the road object behind. So pretty much this is the last good touch, you know, as sort of a pathway leading up to your campground. Um, it'll especially let people know if they run across this that maybe there's something at the end of it. So it's always a good idea to include these types of things. Now in terms of using these larger tents, uh, it pretty much works the same way. You could do pretty much the exact same sort of layout. Um, you could also do a little more organized layout where you literally have them sort of, you know, in nice even lines. You could do something similar like that and have, you know, an eating area over here as well. It really just depends on how you want to do it. Um, those ones are definitely more official though and would be more organized. So keep that in mind. In terms of these lodges, uh, this is more of a resort, but you can sort of call it a campground because they are sort of related. You're going to pretty much use the same sort of stylization, and there's only going to be a few differences. So uh, this is lodge number one. This is going to be the main sort of lodge that people stay in. Uh, it's pretty much almost like a small house just because, um, yeah, there's a lot of room in here, and it's got a nice front porch. So generally what you see is you see that same sort of circular pattern uh, where you know the houses are focused on some sort of central location and you know obviously they don't have to be even they don't have to be spread out very well they don't even have to be angled uh, very correctly I'm using snap rotation by holding uh, shift you know you don't even have to or control not shift you don't even have to do that something like this would completely work and pretty much the way you're gonna detail that is pretty much exactly the same you can use the same tables, the same uh, benches, and pretty much just where you want to put those is going to vary. So this would work perfectly right here. I mean, I can even reuse these uh, barbecues and everything. So this would definitely work for another type of campground, sort of, as well. Now, in terms of these other buildings, um, these are generally not used as much. Uh, you could replace those lodge number one with lodge number three this is more of a rustic type uh, room it's very small there's enough room for like a bed and maybe a few counters and a stove something like that in here so that would also work you can just replace those uh, there's also lodge number two this one's a little weird shaped it seems a little special but you could do the exact same thing um, if you do want to use this in addition I would make that some sort of storeroom some sort of uh, campground keepers house something like that and so, you know, maybe just put it off to the side. Still have it in the same area, but uh, just have it a little off to the side, but still accessible so that, you know, perhaps, you know, the groundkeeper lives here. And if they've got any questions, they can go talk to him for help about it. Now, then you have this massive lodge number four. This is definitely more of a resort, so I wouldn't suggest using it in a campground type setting. But um, you could use it essentially the same way as a main building that people check into, you know, when they go, go campground, go to the campground. So um, something you can do with this, uh, you can leave it over here, and then let's do the same road type thing, and I'll show you how to detail it. So we'll make the road go right by the campground, or right by that large lodge building. And so let's smooth this out a bit really it doesn't matter that much you guys can spend much more time on this but uh, just for the sake of making it a little nice we'll do that hide the roads again and so pretty much what this is gonna be like is as people come to the campground they'll stop here first maybe get their registration pay for it you know some places they pay for the cramp campground you know whatever so that is also something you can use as not even a part of the campground but sort of as a building outside, sort of controlling the campground, something like that. So that's pretty much it for this Unturned Map Editor tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed something and got a lot of good ideas about how to detail a campground. There's obviously a lot of different options that you can use. Generally they are circular in some sort of shape and form. There are plenty of options here as well. All the lodge buildings, most of the tent buildings except for uh, that one hospital tent I guess you could include that if you want to have a medic center inside your campground. If it's that large, that would definitely fit as well. 
Uh, also, I would suggest definitely using those types of roads. Uh, they detail it a lot better, and you know they just make it look a bit more official. And of course, guys, the main part that's going to make your campground so nice is the location you put it in. So you know, really, you guys need to work on you know the the landscape detail more than even the object detail in these because they are generally pretty simple. There's not much that happens in you know a tent type of campground. There just isn't. So you guys really need to work on you know getting the landscape around it to be really really beautiful. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I've got for you. Thank you guys for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.